Welcome back to another NBA 2K16 retooling video. In today's video, I will be retooling the Toronto Raptors, a team that in real life is sitting pretty atop the Eastern Conference. They are currently second, only behind the Cavs. And in today's video, I am here to bring a championship to the Six. I'm here to bring a championship to Toronto, something that they probably won't do in the next five years. Sorry, Toronto fans. You got LeBron, you got Durant, and Westbrook, and Curry, and the Spurs, all right? There's no way you guys are probably getting out of the Eastern Conference. And if you do, y'all aren't beating the West, all right? So with this team, obviously there's no way I will be trading Lowry or DeRozan. Probably won't trade Valanchunas just because, I mean, the trade value for him isn't really where I would like it to be, and he might progress great this year. Who knows? I would like to have a better small forward. I don't want Terrence Ross or Damari Carroll being my starting small forward. I'm fine with having Terrence Ross off the bench, but my main focus is to get rid of Damari Carroll. I would also like to get a better starting power forward. I don't want Scola. And other than that, those are really the key points in terms of players that I would like to trade. And now let's go out and get the job done. In the first trade of Season 1, I will be sending Damari Carroll, Luis Scola, and Norman Powell to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Tristan Thompson and Iman Shumpert. Like I said, I do need an upgrade at the power forward position. And right now, we don't have a backup shooting guard, I do believe. And if we do, I think it was actually Norman Powell. And other than, you know, getting Iman Shumpert, our... Starting shooting guard before him was Norman Powell, so I definitely did need a backup shooting guard. Now, I'm going to see what I can get for maybe Biombo, maybe Corey Joseph, maybe Shumpert. I don't know, but hopefully we can get something great. I would still like to get a better small forward, though. Let's see if the Golden State Warriors will accept this trade. Bismack Biombo and Patrick Patterson for Andre Iguodala and Andrew Bogut. I also went ahead and included the Nuggets first round pick in there. And they're not looking to do it. But what if I gave you our first round pick and next year's first round pick? And they do accept it. So we do get a, our, our new starting small forward, man. I am very excited about this. Andre Iguodala, we all know what he can do on the offensive end. Yes, an 80 steady shot three, but he does make it rain, in my opinion. And if we take a look at the on-ball defensive IQ, I mean, do I really need to say anything else? 95, he is now our new lockdown defender on this team. And honestly, I think I'm done making trades, man. I am very happy and content with the team at the start of Season 1. Starting 5 is Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Andre Iguodala, Tristan Thompson, and Yotis Valanciunas. The bench is Bogut, Terrence Ross, Shumpert, and Corey Joseph. So let's see how we do in Season 1. Honestly, I feel like this team is good enough to win an NBA championship. Hopefully we can make it happen and not lose at all in the playoffs. At the end of the regular season, we did finish with the best record in the Eastern Conference. 54-28, and 28, five games ahead of the Cavs for first. And here is the rest. Yo, how did the Nets go 42-40? and 40? And how is the four seed only two games above 500. All right, so basically it's just us and the Cavs that are going to win in the East. And taking a look at the West, obviously, you know, a lot tougher competition. The Warriors went 61 and 21. So really, if the Warriors, Spurs, Thunder, or Clippers make the finals, we will not have home court advantage. But if the Blazers, Suns, Kings, or Grizzlies make it, we will have home court advantage. Starting five is the exact same. Same with the rotation. I am pumped, I am ready, and let's go and win in the first round. Going up against the, D oh wow, okay, all right. They win game one by eight points, but we do tie it up, winning by 20. Pistons, don't do this, Pistons. Okay, 2-2, two, 3-2, two, two, and 4-2. How, how are we going to a game seven with the Pistons, man? That makes absolutely no sense. I, I, no, I just, I just do not understand it whatsoever. We better win by a lot of points. Like I said, we better win by a lot of points. We end up winning by 35 points. DeRozan at 33. Valanciunas with 20 and 22. Bogut with 16 and 16 off the bench. Lowry with 10, 5 and 12. And for them, Drummond, it was, it was basically Drummond and Jackson and nobody else. In the second round, we are facing the Chicago Bulls, a team that sometimes ends up winning the championship or making it to the finals in year one. So we definitely have got to win this series. We win game one by three points. Win game two by almost 40. Lose game three. No, no, don't win. Okay, good. And another game seven. Are you serious? These teams are 
at 500 and below, and we're going to seven games with them. That does not make any sense, but just like against the Pistons, we are going to win game seven. This time, not by as much. This time, we win by 11. DeRozan with 41 points. Man, Valanciunas with 20 and 15. Lowry, 15, 7, and 10. And for them, Jimmy Butler with 22. Derrick Rose with 18. Taj with 17. Pau Gasol and McDermott all in double figures. And we're facing the New York Knicks. How? How did the Knicks make it to the Eastern Conference Finals? I have no idea how they... Yo, Melo is injured. Melo... Okay, okay. I have such a problem with this. Melo and Porzingis are out for the year, and they still managed to beat the Cavs by almost 30 points. Somebody explain that to me. Just saying, man, if we do not sweep this team, then... Bruh. How? How? I was just about to say, then we don't even deserve to make it to the finals. We don't even deserve to play in the finals, but we do win in five games. There's no need to fear, and we're facing the San Antonio Spurs, who beat the Warriors in seven games, winning by four in game number seven. Curry with 32 and 16 was not enough, and for them, really, we are going to have to worry about Kawhi Leonard, but we do have Andre Iguodala to lock him down. LaMarcus versus Tristan Thompson. That's a good matchup. Parker versus Lowry. I feel like we can definitely win it in year number one. Game one goes to us. We win by five. Game two goes to them. They win by ten. They win game three. We tie it up at two apiece. And we take the 3-2 series advantage, winning by one point in game five. We have a chance to win the NBA championship on our home floor. And it is looking like we are about to do so. And there you go. We end up winning the NBA championship in year number one with the Toronto Raptors. Currently, we are up by, I believe that's 26. But you guys know my math is straight garbage. Let's take a look at the stats. DeRozan with 32. Lowry with 23 and 12. Valanciunas with 15 and 16. Tristan Thompson, 15 and 10. And for them... Yo, Kawhi, where are you at? 5 of 21 for Kawhi. They're shooting 35%, man. Let's go ahead and view this championship celebration as we do win in season number one. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. We definitely did get lucky from 2K with this retooling video because we didn't have to face the Thunder or the Warriors in the finals. Instead, it was the Spurs. Thank you, Spurs, for knocking off both the Thunder and the Warriors, making it so that we did not have to play them. Because, I mean, honestly, we would have lost to them. And what is up with this dude's hairline? It's worse than LeBron's. So as you saw, the finals MVP was DeMar DeRozan in six games and in 33 and a half minutes. 27 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 1 block, and 3 turnovers. Retired player, yo, KG's on the thunder. Wow, alright. I thought he had a, a no-trade clause, but I guess he accepted a trade to maybe win a final championship. Vince Carter, Jason Terry, Steve Nash, Ray Allen, if it all matters. We end up beating Greg Popovich in the finals, and he's like, I'm out of here, I'm done. Here is the championship roster led by Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Jonas Valanciunas, Andre Iguodala, Tristan Thompson, Andrew Bogut, Terrence Ross, Corey Joseph, Iman Shumpert, James Johnson, DeLon Wright, Anthony Bennett, Lucas Nogueria, and the Brazilian Kevin Durant, Bruno Caboclo. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Vote down in the poll in the description for which team I should be retooling next. I think there's like three or four left. I'm not too sure. That is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.
and just before the game, the championship ring was distributed to the players by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans. Tristan Thompson. Shoot us! 